Dear friends, presidents, prime ministers, when I was uh, handing over the reins of European People's Party to Manfred in Rotterdam, I told you that I was returning to the Polish politics to fight for the restoration of the fundamental values in my motherland, for the rule of law, for human rights, for the European unity, and for integrity in the public and economic life. And I won. We won, in fact. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for your support. I am really grateful that so many of you believed that I was able to do it. Not everyone, maybe, but almost. It's a... The battle against authoritarian trends, corruption and lies is taking place on many fronts. And its most dramatic illustration is, of course, the Ukrainian-Russian front. But the responsibility for the fate of the Western civilization, based on the freedom and respect for each and every individual, lies with each and every one of us in every place. The times of blissful calm are over. The post-war epoch is gone. We are living in new times, in a pre-war epoch. In fact, for some of our brothers, it is no longer even a pre-war time. It is a full-scale war in its most cruel form. It is not our fault that our daily vocabulary includes, once again, such words as fighting, bombings, rocket attacks, genocide. Europe wanted to live and develop itself in a post-war world. But today, we must say clearly that we are faced with a simple choice. Either we are undertake the fight to defend our borders, our territory, our principles, and as a consequence, our citizens and future generations, or we will fall. There is no objective reason to capitulate before evil. The potential of Europe economic, financial, demographic, moral, is greater than the potential of those who attack us. It is crucial today that Europe believes in its strength. Also when it comes to the context of uh, our defense capacity. We cannot live under illusions. No one will take our place in this fight for our safety and for our future. We ourselves are the best guarantors of our safety and of our unity. As you well know, the only person you can count on is yourself. Europeans will be united when they see with all clarity that the Union is really our Europe, a safe and good home for the people. As our manifesto says, Today, this is exactly the signal that our farmers and food producers are waiting for impatiently. They also want a Europe that protects them and understands their fears. Ten years ago, I appealed to the European leaders to support Ukraine unconditionally. I appealed to the leaders to establish an European energy union to break the Russian domination when it comes to gas and oil. When the migration crisis started to grow, I was asking you for solidarity in our cooperation for the common protection of our external borders. 
And today I am appealing to you for food security on our continent. This is one of the conditions to be safe and secure in all aspects. And I know that with leaders like you, like our presidents and prime ministers, with leaders like Ursula and, and Roberta, we can cope with this challenge as well. Thank you. All the best.